Sign language is a huge part of my daily life. As some of you may or may not know, my parents are both deaf, so that makes me a child of a deaf adult, or CODA for short. Today we'll be talking about three main things, the history of sign language, 15 survival signs, and how it benefits society. First we'll be talking about Juan Pablo. Juan Pablo was the creator of the first American Sign Language book. Next we have Abby Charles, who made the first free deaf school in Paris. Then we have Thomas Hopkins Gallaudet, who traveled Europe to seek deaf people and now has his own university. Next, we'll move into 15 survival signs. The first one we have is hello, where you put your hand at a diagonal thing, at a diagonal position, and you put it on your forehead and go straight for hello. Then you have nice to meet you, where you put one hand down, the other one up, slide it across, and for meet, you put two fingers together, put them together for meet, and then you, you just point at people. Then you have please, where you put your hand flat on your chest and rotate it for please. Then you have thank you, where you put it on your chin. Thank you. Then you have your welcome, where you start your hand out here and go down. You're welcome. Then we have sorry, where you put your hand in a thumbs up position and rotate it around your chest. Then we have excuse me, where you put your hand in like a curve on your flat other hand that's flat. Excuse, and then you point yourself me. Then we have yes, which you put your hand in a fist and go up and down. And then no is similar, but you put your hand in a U, and you put your thumb down, and like chomp, no. Then we have how are you, where you put two thumbs up together, rotate it around you, how, and then you are, and then you. Then we have good morning, where you put your hand on your chin, good, morning, you put this hand down, and you put this one up. Then we have good afternoon, good afternoon. Then, last but not least, we have good night. As we move into talking about how it benefits society, it obviously benefits for communication. It's important for deaf people to be able to communicate, and it's very important to them to communicate with their friends and family. So learning the 15 basic signs that I just taught you guys really helps them communicate with them. Then we have the obvious, it helps with careers. Whether you might be a cashier or you want to become an interpreter and become bilingual? Now let's recap on the three things I talked about today. The history of sign language, 15 survival signs, and how it benefits society. Before we go, I want to talk a little bit about signing time. Signing time was one of my favorite shows as a kid from Alex, Leah, and their from Hopkins, who teaches you signs, more basic signs that you might want to learn 